Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can do a file transfer using HTTP from the command line using PowerShell's web client object. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one install of VirtualBox to include the extension pack, one virtual install of Kali Linux, and one virtual install of Windows 10. For this demonstration, both of my VirtualBox network adapters have been set to NAT network. If we have an HTTP server running on our Kali machine, we can easily transfer files between Kali and the compromised Windows machine using a web browser. But what if we only have a reverse shell and we don't have access to the desktop? For that, we can use the command line and we can use PowerShell's web client object. In a previous video, we used PowerShell to copy over the PowerCat script and launch a reverse shell back on over to our Kali machine. In this short video presentation, we're going to be using that same reverse shell and HTTP to copy files from our Kali machine on over to our compromised Windows machine. I'm going to open up my working folder PowerShell, and inside here, I'm going to create an empty text file. To do this, I'm just going to right click in the right window pane. From the context menu, I'm going to select Create Document, Empty File. I'm going to call this empty file evil.txt. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Create button. Once I have the file created, I'm going to open it up just by double clicking it. It's going to open up the default text editor that Kali provides. Inside of this empty text file, I'm going to copy in the following. This is my evil file. It will bring your network to its knees. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and close the file. I'm going to save any changes. I'm then going to close my working folder, return to my desktop. I'm now going to pause the video while I reestablish that reverse shell between my Kali machine and the compromised window target using PowerShell and PowerCat. And I will return to the video once I am ready to start the file transfer. And so again, in this scenario, the only access I have to the compromised Windows machine is this reverse shell that I have established using PowerShell and PowerCat. How I establish the reverse shell is not important. What is important is that this is the only access I have to the compromised Windows target. Inside of my work folder on my Kali machine, I have a text file called evil.txt. I need to get a copy of this file on over to my compromised Windows machine. I need to place it on the desktop to show that as a pen tester, I actually did compromise that remote machine using a reverse shell. And I know that if I have an HTTP server running on my Kali machine and I place that evil.txt file into the correct folder, I'll be able to connect back on over to the Windows machine and use HTTP to transfer this file. So at my prompt, in the reverse shell, I have typed in PowerShell space dash C. That means launch me a session of PowerShell. Give it a space, wrap it in an open bracket, new object system.net, and the object is web client. I want PowerShell to download a file from 10.0.2.15 called evil.txt, and I want it to place it up inside of C, Users, IE User, Desktop, and on that desktop, I should see an evil.txt file when I'm done. Let's go ahead and hit Enter, and it comes back to the prompt, letting me know that that command completed successfully. And back on over with the compromised Windows 10 machine. If I look at the desktop, there is a file called evil.txt sitting there, and if I double click it, I can see that it is the file that I transferred from my Kali machine on over to the compromised Windows machine desktop. And so if you're ever asked how can you quickly and easily transfer a file using HTTP on over to a compromised Windows machine using PowerShell, this is how you do it. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.